they're looking real good. Just two weeks after being shot four times, Eric Harp is out of bed and pushing forward. Yeah, go slow. I'm just so impressed and proud of him every single day because he's just um, so strong. That's Eric's mom, Carlina. She says people should know what happened to her son. It's left him paralyzed. One of the bullets went into his abdomen and he lost a kidney. Um, his spinal cord was completely severed. His spinal column was shattered and bone fragments were shot up into his spinal cord. And that's just a few of the injuries. Eric did survive, something Carlina and their whole entire family is thankful for, but his life is forever changed. As a mom watching this happen to your 23-year-old son is just devastating. But Carlina doesn't have time to sit in that devastation. She has to figure out the plan to move forward. Especially with the doctors telling me that I need to expect, you know, a minimum of, a, of like a year to help him readjust. The emotional stress is compounded with the expected financial toll. Carlina believes they're going to need more than $120,000 to help adjust to Eric's new normal. That includes moving costs, an electric wheelchair, a van that'll fit the wheelchair, along with rehab, and an in-home hospital bed, and money for living expenses. Eric's job, which he's only had for a few months, started fundraising for him. Carlina says they continue to receive an outpouring of support. Since he's been here, there hasn't been one day where there hasn't been at least four people in the waiting room from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. They know that support is going to be crucial for Eric in the days, weeks, months, and years to come. We do believe that Eric is going to make it through all of this and, and live a happy, successful life. It's just unfortunate that this happened and he has a very long road ahead of him. Renton police did not have an update on this case for us. As for whoever did this, Carlina says she and her family aren't thinking too much about them because they have better things to focus on. In Seattle, Cornelius Hawker, King 5 News. As you just heard in that story, the cost of gun violence is high. Numbers from the Government Accountability Office show people who are shot and survive are charged an average of $31,000 for initial care. Harvard Medical School researchers found that gun violence costs the U.S. annually around $557 billion.